Howdy folks and welcome to another episode of Coffee and Tools. This one we want to uh, do the very first upgrade on the longer LK5 Pro. Great 3D printer, really like it. Still doing some pretty impressive things but uh, the first issue that I wanted to upgrade was the uh, micro SD card. I want a full size SD card so let's take a look at what we need and how we're going to install all that so that we can have this right here for a full size SD card. Yes! So the first things uh, we're going to need is we're going to need one of these with the ribbon cable with the micro SD card slot <laughs> like this. We're also going to need an adapter to go to a full size SD card so you'll need a little adapter like the scan disk I've got here. I've got a bunch of these laying around. If you've got computers, you've probably got some of these adapters laying around. You may not even be using them. Uh, also, I'll show you right there, there's the original SD card, kind of blank, that came with the longer uh, LK5 Pro machine. You'll need a couple small short screws. These are like 632, and as you can see, they're only like uh, I think they're about three quarters of an inch long, maybe. And you need to print one of these bad boys. And we'll begin. First thing we're going to do is I guess we're going to go over here and just show you how this goes in because this is where everybody seems to have problems sometimes. But right here where the SD card slot is, you want the shiny part like that. You see the metal contacts? You want them in the up position. So we're going to push that into here into the slot and we're going to feel like a click where it locks in like that there like that and it's locked in it's not real easy it doesn't have a real good feel to it but once you get that you want to bring this to the front and so we're going to mount this to the front here i drilled a couple of small holes they are like 564, so they're very tiny holes for these little screws so that we can bolt this up right here at the front because that's, that's where I like it. So let's uh, assemble it and then we'll check it out. Okay, so we're now at the front. And so what I'm going to do is I've designed this so that there are two feet on the bottom that are going to catch this. And there's a flatted side and sort of a little bit of an oval or dome top on this side. So how that's going to go together is we're going to just put the ribbon through and then come down through like that and it stops. It's, it's you know, a nice dead stop. And then we're just simply going to put this in the front. And these screws, by the way, don't tighten them up too much. You've got to remember you are dealing with uh, PLA plastic. So, yeah, don't get crazy with the screws. Just put them in gentle with a, you know, and lock the nuts, of course on the back with just a bit of a, a snug, I guess we'll call it a snug fit, whatever that is, yeah. Measure that in pounds and inches. And let's see, we can get the other screw on. This is uh, the first upgrade. I think we're gonna do a bunch of upgrades on this little guy, but I really like the machine, so don't get the wrong impression. We're just upgrading something that uh, a lot of, all, in fact, all my 3D printers have been the same situation where they come with those little nasty micro SD cards. And if you have to deal with those, it gets really frustrating, especially if you drop one in a shop like I have, you'll never find it again. Now I'm just using my fingers on this part of the driver shaft because I don't want to over tighten. So I'm just making it snug. And then there's a good tight fit. And now, of course, the SD card has to go in the adopter. And if you look at your adopter, <clears throat> it's the same thing. You want these matching so that when you push this in, it's now contacting to these contacts. So now we can just drop this in here. That would be good if I had to do it the right way too. Is it this way? Yeah. We'll just drop this in here. And and there she there she be. She's locked into place. And I can turn the machine on. Now verify it now. Uh, there was a fellow that was telling me he was having a problem. And if I go to my files, and there's the latest file, the SD card slot which, yeah, we made an extra one. Now, I'm gonna give this away on the show, and what it is is uh, you'll have to write to, I'll give you the website, or the email, excuse me, I'll give you the email address on the top of this, and you just write to coffee and tool rewards at gmx.com, uh, and just put in the title uh, SD card 
and then what we need is a name and an address and if you write in and you're like one of the first I will mail this little guy out to you so you can have your very own you will have to drill your own holes because this was something I just did on the custom so you could put it over here over here uh, you will also drill holes and say tie wrap it up like this so that it's back here and you could put your SD card in it kind of gives you some flexibility but it holds the SD card slot piece here for you so you you know makes it makes it easier okay we're going to go back to home here now one of the things that uh, a fellow by the name of Jeremy was telling me he's having problems every time he puts a file on this he has a problem he has to uh, play with the SD card the micro card in and out of the machine or something in order to get it to read and I think the problem is he's not getting the spring bar part where I showed it to you just now that it's got to be in just a certain way and then you know once it's in and it's working good you can leave it you know and just to test it here uh, here we'll just go ahead and open and uh, yeah go ahead and start printing on but in there it is there it goes it's, it's going to print that file so it'll make another one of these so if, if there's two people that write in <laughs> i will send you both one of, each of you can have one of these it's a real simple item i tried to post it on thingiverse and i'm having a problem with their website today for some reason i'm unable to get this posted i will continue to fight with that but in the meantime to get this piece here i will leave a link in the description below which will uh, help the channel of course always does I think or at least I hope it helps the channel and you can link through to order or purchase one of these pieces because this is really the ideal thing this is what you need this part here you can make your own or design your own or like I said uh, we'll mail a couple of these out the uh, if I get it I will get it on Thingiverse the problem is Thingiverse for some reason uh, wants me to put it under educational exploration something file and I, I just wanted to just simply post it as a project you could you know you me we could all make one if we want one for our uh, longer LK5 Pro machine <sighs> not happening so guys girls that's uh, you know that's it this week well that, that's it today I should say that's it today because we're publishing two videos a week right now because we can't keep up we're kind of on overflow here with uh, projects and things going on including this so yeah so you can see uh, this works great the problem I think with Jeremy's and I'm not sure the other possibility would be shut the machine off take your SD card to your computer load up your uh, S your uh, your G code file excuse me I always have trouble with the STL G code whatever Load up your G-code file on your SD card, bring it back out, put it in the slot first, make sure everything's good to go, hit the on switch. You shouldn't have to be pushing the uh, micro card in and out uh, back here to get that to work. If you do, uh, I think it's because you haven't quite got that spring hook going on back here, and I think that's where the problem is. Or maybe Jeremy's not shutting the machine off when he does the SD card change because that will confuse the machine and you know cause some problems too this would not be the first time I've heard of something like that because I did have trouble like that on another uh, 3d printer that I had a couple of years ago and I always had to shut everything down and then boot up again and then it would recognize the new file that was on the card and go ahead and print that file for me so just a crazy word out there for Jeremy, and thanks for comment, Jeremy, and everything, because you know it is a concern when you know you hear stuff like that. Now back to this. Hey, please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for viewing Coffee and Tools this week. Uh, this is our first upgrade. Oh look, this thing is getting to work already. Cool. And again, uh, as I've had the review, the next upgrade I think is this guy right here I think we're going to try to see if we can't find a really good uh, spool holder or something that feeds off the side like this I was thinking about coming up the top here like I have on some of my other printers and coming this way but uh, this 45 degree angle one it, it works fine the classic thing I do like is it kind of keeps the machine portable and if you want to do an enclosure and box this guy in for an enclosure for doing the high temperature stuff like the ABS, the ASAs, you know, that kind of thing. You could do it with uh, easier with this machine than some of the machines that I've had in the past. So that's kind of a plus to, for the uh, longer uh, LK5 Pro is it, it could be enclosed. Again, thanks for viewing and uh, 
Huh. So we'll have two of these to give away now. All right.